Hello, welcome back. In our last video, we discussed about the five step processes to create the data model. So the first step is to list relevant entities. So let's go on and try to list all our relevant entities that we probably require to build our online uh, shopping system. Okay. The first one is uh, start with say product. Okay. So product is an entity and then what are the attributes of product? The product attributes may be like quantity of product, then model number, then you can think about the image for the product like you know, how it's going to look like on the on, on the front page then you should have a price then you will have a date when 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 this product is added so date added and what else you will have you will have a product about say let's say about product description like about you know how you know what this product does and all this thing product description and you might have an URL to that product and then uh, you might know like you know who is a manufacturer okay so who made that product okay then how then how many products are available right now so this is the quantity uh, okay so th uh, we have already captured here so the products available is available is quantity and also we might order some new product okay so from 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 the manufacturer right so that means you know uh, we called product underscore ordered okay so these are the some attributes that come to my mind when i'm thinking about a entity called product this product might belongs to some categories right so categories means like the product is uh, example uh, example product is uh, say a laptop and category is uh, hardware okay say product is harry potter's book and category is book okay and and product is uh, something a, a game and the category is game for that okay and and so on so basically this is how we are going to uh, come up with a, another entity called category okay then uh, we might uh, keep information about manufacturer so who you know what is their address what is the name of manufacturer address of manufacturers and then uh, you know which country they belongs to and so on okay so there are some other things that we keep a track of uh, about manufacturer so basically this is this is what I'm, this is one entity this is another entity, this is another entity, and these are the attributes of those entity. And we are basically, right now, we are brainstorming. We are not really creating anything. We are just brainstorming. And then this requires a lot of interview with the people who gives you the requirement. And next set of entities, maybe we can uh, think about uh, customer. And customer is an entity. And then what is customer name? Okay. And what is his first name? What is his last name? What is his email address? And then, you know, what is the date of birth if you want to keep track of them? And then, um, what is the password for his email, uh, for his uh, login? And then, um, then about what, what is customer's address? And what is the customer's credit card number? Uh, and, and so on. Okay. So, this is another entity. And then, uh, we might have uh, another entity called, which is called order. Right. So, order means like, uh, you know, when when a customer buy something right so that is called an order an order may be consist of different products products one products two products three so what do you say that let's name that order by a name order name and when that order was placed the date ordered and then uh, we can uh, see like you know uh, what is the amount of that order okay and then it is a new order or say it's a it's a cancellation or it is something that a reorder somebody was not happy and so on so we can we can put all those information so essentially this is what this is how you are going to brainstorm to come up with different entities so this is you know this is a very preview of what we are doing what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, create a document uh, of what I think and why I'm basically, you know, why I'm thinking that this is, this is an entity and then I'm going to discuss, you know, what what is the, uh, like, you know, whatever this attribute, right, what you're going to store in this attribute, you know, why we need that attribute. So this is a couple of things that you always need to ask yourself, right. In that case, you will not miss anything. It's better to have something more and then if you do not need them you can delete them you can you can you can remove them later on and and it's very difficult to add something later once you decide what how you are going to structure your your uh, database okay so this is a very naive uh, approach and what are going to take during uh, this course we are going to actually build one uh, one of one of those uh, database uh, 